Hello, everybody. And today, um, Josie and James helped me pick the, the subject. So here is a picture of Josie. She asked me to talk about bugs, specifically this fellow, the orb spider. And so she said, lots of people don't like bugs. They think they're creepy. But I think the orb spider is very cool. And I wanted to talk to you about that because different people have different likes and dislikes. But we know that when God created the earth, that he created everything. And it says in Genesis 1, 31, God made, God had made, God saw everything he had made. It was supremely good. There was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. And so we know that God created the sun and the moon and the stars and divided the earth between the waters and then divided the water on the earth with the land and then added all of the animals. And in one of those days was the creepy crawly things. And that's what it says. I think it says on the, it was the fifth day, God created every living thing, livestock, crawly things, and wildlife. And so we know that God created the spiders. And even though some of us don't like them, God created them and they were good. And so that helps us understand that everything God created is good. And just because we don't like something doesn't mean it's bad. It's just something we don't like. And just like Josie said, she thinks that bugs are cool and that she thinks the spider is very cool, where some of us who aren't too fond of spiders were, as she said, creeped out. <laughs> But we just need to know that God created everything and he loves everything that he created. He created us. He loves us. He created the creepy crawly things like the spiders. But he created the cute cuddly things like our dogs and our cats. Um, some people like birds or ferrets. There's, everybody has things that they like and things that they don't like. We just have to remember that God created everything and God loves everything. And that helps us to know that if God created it, it was good. And that means each person you know... Each creature you know is good because God created it. And that goes along with what James asked me to talk about today is that Jesus loves the little children. And so not only did our God create the whole wide world in six days and on the seventh day rested, he sent his son Jesus. And Jesus walked on this earth and he taught us things in those three years that he was here. And then he willingly died on that cross. And because he was God's son, God raised him from the dead. And God says that for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that was Jesus, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. And so that's something for you to remember, that not only did God create everything and it was good, and we know that sin entered in, but we also know that God loves us and that God loves the things around us. He loves the people and he loves all the creatures. And so Jesus loves you. I hope you remember that always. And I just ask that you will continue to tune in and enjoy this time with the children. And we'll say a little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the beautiful things that you have created. The great creation story that you have given us where everything was created for us. Lord, thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, who died on the cross and that you rose him from the dead and that he gives us a way to heaven and that he forgives us, helps us to be forgiven through you of the bad things that we do, the bad choices that we make. Lord, help us to show your love to others, show your kindness to others. Um, Lord, when we show love and kindness, we can change this world. In your most precious son's name we pray, amen. And next week, if Kaylee and Corey Grace McGritt could send me something, um, a video like Josie did, or just a little email um, like James and his mom did, I would gladly do that. And remember, God loves you, and I love you. Take care, and we'll see you soon.